from Nice, France. It's the Cube covering .next Conference 2017 Europe. Brought to you by Nutanix. Welcome back. I'm Stu Miniman, and you're watching the Cube's coverage of Nutanix.next here in Nice, France. Happy to welcome to the program Peter Grimmin, uh, who is the EMEA CTO at Veritas. Peter, thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. It's good, great to be here. All right, so uh, we had the Cube at uh, Veritas Vision yep. uh, earlier this year. Um, my my uh, uh, co CEO, Dave Vellante, and I did a whole bunch of interviews. Um, really reintroducing to a lot of people. Uh, you know, I remember Veritas from back in the day, uh, but through the semantic acquisition now back out, um, you know, it's a lot of interesting things coming. Uh, you know, obviously a company that's always been a software company. Yep, uh, at, at its core, as opposed to in the infrastructure world, it's uh, you know, a company like Nutanix. Uh, it's like, wait, wait, you know, do you sell appliances? Are you software? What's your mix there? Uh, you know, Veritas, you're a software company. Um, why don't we start off with just a little bit about you know, your role, how long you've been at Veritas, uh, and you know, what, what brings you here to this show? Yeah, by all means. Well, so I've been at Veritas forever. I've been, I actually started with the company in 1994, oh, believe wow. it or not. So um, uh, yeah, I've been here a long time. Spent a lot of time in consulting, working with, uh, with our customers, um, installing, configuring backup solutions and, and delivering uh, consulting around uh, the data center, uh, and then most recently moved into uh, leading teams and, and acting as the CTO for the business here in Amir. Wow, yeah, uh, 94, that, that is, if, yeah, that's many lifetimes in, 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 the, in the tech Indeed. world. Um, everybody thinks of you know, you know, Veritas back in the day, it was like net backup, uh, is what people know. Um, what, what products are you involved with? You know, what 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 are you, when you're meeting with customers? What are yep. kind of the, the the key things you're focused on? Yeah. So so our portfolio has grown substantially over over those years, um, and most uh, especially actually in the last uh, year or so. So we've actually launched seven new offerings in in the last year, uh, really expanding our our reach to cover enterprise data management very broadly, um, and extending also out from the data center to really cover the multi cloud. So we can now provide pretty much end-to-end -end data management capability across the multi-cloud. Okay, great, and when you say multi-cloud, that's, you're working with, you know, the public cloud providers, well, many of the infrastructure providers. Give us a little bit of a, kind of the scope, what you do and don't do uh, when, when it comes to yeah. multi-cloud. So, so when I talk to my customers about what they're doing with cloud, um, you know, almost all of them have, a, have what we describe as a multi-cloud approach. So that means multiple public clouds plus their own private cloud, and in some cases, more than one private cloud that they're working with as well. Um, so our mission uh, to deliver enterprise data management services to those customers has to also have that reach. Um, so we're working with a number of the large cloud service providers, um, such as Amazon and Google and, and Microsoft, uh, IBM as well, uh, and indeed Oracle, um, as well as working with um, a, a private cloud providers such as, uh, such as Nutanix. Excellent, so let's c connect to Nutanix yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, Nutanix talks about enterprise cloud. Uh, most of their solutions today deployed in customer's data center. Yeah talking about edge deployments, talking about how they extend public clouds, like, uh, you know, for example, partnerships with Google, uh, support with Microsoft, they've mm -hmm. always had. Uh, show, tell, tell us how Veritas and Nutanix, uh, wh what's the boundaries, how do they connect? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so ultimately, uh, as customers move their workloads onto hyper-converged platforms, and a lot of our customers are doing that, they, they need to find ways to, to protect that data. Now, for those customers who are using a hypervisor such as VMware on Nutanix, we've been able to back up that data for them for a while, uh, and we can back up data that's been on the Acropolis hypervisor in Guest, but what we've done with Nutanix recently is to integrate net backup with AHV, so we can now back up at a VMware level um, uh, from, from Nutanix uh, yeah, so, so systems. Peter, take us in that, because it's been a discussion with a lot of the ecosystem, is like, okay, how much work is it to certify AHV? Is this a Nutanix push, or is it a customer pull? T take us inside a little bit as to what led to this work, how easy or hard was it, and, and you know what, what, what's, what's kind of the, the customer demand for it? Um, so, so the customer demand is high. Um, customers are looking, uh, you know, it, th those that have had Nutanix deployed for some time are now interested in moving to AHV. They want to use that as a platform. There are some good benefits to, to them in doing that. Uh, and, and one of the things that's potentially been stopping them from doing that is the ability to protect their data properly in those environments. So um, having the, the ability to do those backups uh, in AHVs is, is important to them 
so they've certainly been asking us for that. I believe they've been asking Nutanix for it as well, and that's why we're partnering together. In terms of how complex it is, uh, you know, in, 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 in the world of RESTful APIs, it actually becomes relatively straightforward. You know, NetBackup has a RESTful API which allows you to back up parallel workloads. Nutanix has a RESTful API that allows you to access their, their um, backup API, and we hook those two together and get a solution reasonably quickly, actually. Awesome. Um, I would assume most of your customers, they're doing multiple hypervisors, though. You, you, so Ver Veritas, you play well in that environment. If I, you know, I've got Veritas and AHV or yeah, uh, so, know, so, so we've had support for you know, hypervisors such as VMware and yeah. Hyper-V for some time. AHV's um, uh, one that we haven't supported, um, and right. so you know, this integration was, was overdue, and we've now done it. So customers can protect their data, whichever hypervisor they're using. Yeah, I, I, I guess the question was, if a customer has a multi-hypervisor environment, are there any complications, or is it, you know, it doesn't matter how many of the, the hypervisors they support, if you support them all, it, it's pretty straightforward. Um, yep, yeah, yeah that, that's the case. So, so you know, we can we can deploy backup solutions across all of them and manage all of those from a from a central management point. So it helps to take the complexity out of it. Okay. Um, want to switch a little bit to hear about kind of customers. I, I mm. know at Veritas Vision and especially you know here at a European show, GDPR uh, is, is a hot topic of yeah, conversation. Um, I, I've heard some of the Veritas, is, does Veritas and Nutanix, is there a play jointly on there or is, uh, you, you know, do, is that more of a separate uh, initiative? Yeah, I th look, I think um, yeah, we're both hearing the same thing from our customers, right? Which is that uh, which is that GDPR is something that's exercising them. I, was, I just come from the executive track actually, where that was a, a topic of conversation. Um, you know, and, and I think um, you know customers are definitely at different stages of maturity on that. So so you know, when when we talk to our customers, there are there are a lot of them at the very early stages in in thinking about GDPR, and there are others that have already appointed a, a, a data privacy officer and are are working through a program to to, to get that done. Um, so it's, it's at different stages, um, but, there, but I think generally speaking, enterprises are still looking for help to get that problem solved. Okay, uh, what else uh, are you hearing from customers, kind of, you know, big pain points or areas where, uh, you know, he, they're, they're, they're looking to modernize that, you know, Veritas can help? Well, so look, I think, I, I think the, 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 the big thing that we're hearing from customers is this move to the cloud, uh, and the thing that's really driving that move to the cloud is, 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 uh, is digital transformation. So, you know, all, all enterprises are looking to, to, to leverage a, a more digital model, uh, they see cloud as a way of accelerating that, and so they are looking to move aggressively to the cloud. One of the things that potentially makes that harder than it might otherwise be is, is assuring uh, the proper management of your data, you know, making sure it's secure and protected and available and performant, uh, and that's where Veritas comes in. So, so we're, we're helping, we believe, to, to make it easier for, for customers to adopt a multi-cloud approach by giving them access to their data wherever they need it, by protecting that data and giving them good visibility into that data wherever it sits, whether that be you know in uh, in, in Azure or in Office 365 or on-premise. All right. So so Peter, now that uh, Veritas is supporting AHV, what should we look for? You know, uh, really for the for the next year, certain go-to-market initiatives or other you know integration and engineering work uh, that that we should be looking for. Yeah. So as you probably heard, uh, when when uh, uh, when when we were at Vision together, um, you know, our, our approach around data management is is what we call 360 data management, which is a suite of tools that we've put together uh, to to solve the data management problem. You know, our our aim certainly is to is to extend the 360 data management approach to Nutanix. So rather than just covering data protection, we're also covering other areas of of, of data management, such as uh, data access. Um, uh, disaster recovery, data visibility, those kind of areas. Okay, great. Peter, I want to give you the final word. Uh, at, at Veritas Show, we talked about the truth and information. Yeah. What have you been hearing from customers here? What, what would you want them to take away uh, from the Nutanix Show uh, from a Veritas standpoint? Well, I, I think the key message is that um, you know, customers get great value from Nutanix HCI platform. Uh, the, uh, many, of the more, uh, many of those same customers get great value from Veritas. Now they've got that value combined. All right, well, Peter Grimman, really appreciate you joining us. Uh, we'll be back with more coverage here from the Nutanix.next conference in Nice, France. I'm Stu Miniman, and you're watching theCUBE. This is Robin Matlock, CMO of VMware.